Well, though there are folks as Red Olin from Mullingar, in Mullingar, but not exactly. I'm in Dublin and I'm in Christ Church, and uh, we're very, very lucky to be in here. But we're here with uh, the Dean himself, and maybe he might chat to us here if we get a chance. Um, Dermot, hello, how are you? Dermot, it's, uh, we really appreciate uh, coming in here. Uh, things have changed dramatically, and you've organised uh, the seating actually here for um, social distancing as well. Oh, we have, yeah. We're allowed uh, up to 100 altogether. That's, that's what we can fit with proper social distancing. And you'll see from the seats, they're two metres apart. Mm. And um, um, we get about 70 into the nave here. It's not a huge... It looks a huge building, but it's not. Um, at the uh, most of the time, we can fit about 500 here. Wow. So to just give you an idea that we're shrunk down to 70. Just give us an idea how, how old we are standing in the, this building. I mean, we're standing on tiles here. This is so, so old, old. and so full of history. Well, the tiles themselves are not that old mm -hmm. because these, uh, there was a restoration in 1870 and the architect put these tiles down in 1870. But he copied them from medieval tiles that are up in, in the Laudian Chapel up at the back, and you, you get, you, you'd get a, a, a sample of what they're like. Um, but there are about 80,000 of these tiles in the, um, in the cathedral, and they, they have various designs, including foxy friars. Um, this was an Augustinian foundation, and it was a Franciscan foundation down on the Keys, which is still there and they were rivals, and right. they, they would have comedy between them. So the, the, the monks here dressed up the friars below as foxes, uh, and, and, and that's back in, the, in, in medieval times. So uh, we're going back to what year then, 16s or 17s? Uh, uh, um, you, you're going back uh, even before that, because the foundation of this cathedral, uh, 1030, uh, the stone building was built about 1170 by uh, Lawrence O'Toole, so it became an Augustinian um, uh, friary, or priory, um, and uh, so, so, so to go back to that time, so it would. The, um, this wall here that you're, you're looking at here, yeah. that probably up here, that fell in in um, 1562 when the roof fell in, and, and there was a blank wall there. Right. Uh, and then in 1870, when they did the restoration, they held all that wall up on wooden scaffolding and replicated uh, the archways, the Gothic archways here, uh, built them. So it was quite a, a feat in 1870. Amazing. And a lot of things go on here as well. Uh, events, you have a lot of events over the years. An example of what is some of the events that have happened here? Um, well, what, what I... What I my mission is to make the cathedral available to the city of Dublin. So whatever the cultural life is um, and also the civic life and uh, uh, the national life is all expressed here. Like you were here when we first met. Yeah. It was at a Sufi concert, <laughs> which was uh, celebrating the beginning of Ramadan. Yeah. Now that's quite uh, something in a Christian cathedral to... Uh, to, to celebrate Ramadan, but it, it's all part of the multicultural. But think expression. about it, this has gone through all the different religions as well. And I mean, going back mm -hmm. into the Vikings, so the Vikings were here first in yes. 1010. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it's, it's evolved. So well, really, what you're doing is you're evolving yes. still. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. and it's magnificent to see. And the, the, the building is in such, such fantastic repair. It is. It yeah. needs constant, uh, uh, constant repair. If you look at the south, the, the west window here, mm -hmm. you, you, you turn around and you see it. Mm -hmm. That's the latest window to be restored. Every piece of that stained glass was taken out, and it was brought to a, a stained glass company in oh, Roscommon. Okay. Yeah, uh, at Roscommon. In Roscommon, and it was cleaned. You're seeing it today the way it was in 1870. Wow. And you're also seeing it the clearest um, for a hundred years because there was a grill uh, on it that, um, that, uh, that protected it from, from stones or whatever. Yeah. They, they came up with a new um, technique that didn't need an obstructing grill. So you're seeing the pure light through it. And the depiction of this tree mm -hmm. 
It's called uh, or, or this window. It's I can't called, get into focus. It's sort of coming in and out. It's coming in and out because yeah. it's so bright. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, it's the Jesse tree. It's the genealogy of Jesus. <laughs> so you see all the kings in the Old Testament, and on top you see Mary with Jesus. Um, so, so, so brilliant. It, 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 you could call it the Christmas tree. Look, Dharma, thanks a million uh, for uh, chatting to us and inviting us here into the uh, Christ Church. As I say, folks, if you're out there, just check them online if you want to try and. Uh, if you want to come on board or if you want to uh, have an event here uh, it's online and uh, there's loads of information there so from the Dean Dermot thank you very much all the best <laughs>